All right, I'm stepping in to do an NXT case break. NXT, NXT, 2019, full case. Um, I did not have time to fill in all the pictures, uh, but I suppose you probably know who you have. We did have a lot of pictures from the other break, but I forgot. I can't copy them over. Anyway. Sergeant, yeah, Sergeant Slaughter got demoted to NXT in his retirement. He's trying to work his way back up. NXT wasn't around back in Slaughter's day. I don't think. Back when Slaughter was slaughtering. First autos in this year. There's like the, you know, bronze or whatever. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, it was too low, huh? God, I don't know. Is the numbered card usually like the second to last spot? Like the other stuff? Where's Omni? He's the one who usually tells me what the numbered ones are. Oh yeah, the Ryan's face thing. Maybe third to last spot? Pete Dunn, the bruiser weight. Can you see any numbered parallels in what I've already opened? I haven't found any yet. Looks like there's rookies. Oh, Io Shirai. Genius of the sky. Oh, they made this way more complicated. Yeah. Like, way more complicated. NXT see. used to be the easy one. You'd get yeah. like five base cards and an autograph. Yeah. Must be the, this spot every time because those are always bronze. Dakota Kai. I don't know. Omni's looking through all of them. As soon as I find the first one. Yeah, none of, none of them have. They're like, they're, all, they're like bronze. Those aren't numbered, though. Jasmine Duke. Yeah, like the orange or bronze or whatever ones are. The numbering's on front for the parallels? Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be helpful. Montez Ford. Yeah, there's oranges in like every pack. Jackson Riker. Or bronze or whatever. The Forgotten Sons or whatever they're called. They're, those guys scare me. Orange. Adam Cole, baby. Weird that they went with no autographs this year, but I guess people really like just the... Well, mostly into the base and the parallels. They and, like the insert sets. Yeah. And it made the price more affordable for everybody. So that's cool. <laughs> no, Jules doesn't like guys like that. Jules, you're not into Jackson Riker. Storm. Jules will go for William Regal before Jackson Stryker. Oh, there's an autograph. Deanna Perrazzo to 99. Shark Sitch. <laughs> Face is a lot. Oh, God. That was a red. They just have different colors of 
for no reason. You like Matt Riddle, Jules? Serious question. That one I couldn't really guess. Buddy Murphy, the next autograph. Jules! Well, I guess we know the answer to does Jules like Buddy Murphy? Looks like a real sweetheart. Yeah. Oh, I don't have to look at the back. He is talented, yeah. Velveteen Dream. It's weird how they decide on their distinctions of... Deanna Prazo was in, like, Undisputed, Yeah, right? I don't get it. Like, the first NXT mm -hmm. first autograph. Yeah. I don't know. But, like, Leo Rush had, like, the rookie card thing on his Undisputed cards, but, like, all the other ones are in other products. Or... Mm -hmm. It's weird. Seen a numbered card yet? Keith Lee, Chelsea Green. I haven't seen her. Chelsea Green. Is there supposed to be a uh, numbered card in every box, Mikey? Are you looking at the at the front of them? Both. Huh. Hot boxes with up to five autos. That was a cold box then, or just a lukewarm box. Three's debut, Wesley Blake. That's a good picture. Hand firmly placed on butt. EC3. Yeah, he's fun in NXT. Oh, there's a UFC on tonight, I think. Maybe it's already going. fun when 90% of the packs are just all base. I like the old NXT. that the seagull favorite tag team like ever or right now I don't like tag teams generally ever well I've only been watching for oh, here's an obvious blue parallel to 50 Viking Raiders make their debut I guess, uh, which one's Eric and which one's Ibar? I forget. Whoever's on the left. Uh, 
Um, anyway, since I've been watching for only a couple of years, I really enjoyed the, uh, you know, no, I can't think of the name. You know, sure. Brett and Jake. Who do I like, Jules? The mower of lawns, the delete, all that. That was my favorite. Matt Hardy? Yeah. Woken Matt Hardy? The Woken Warriors, yeah. That's it. Woken Matt Hardy. Woken Warriors? Woken. And then I like the... Um, the current Japanese, what are they? Kabuki Warriors or something? They're all warriors, I just realized. Yeah. Golden State Warriors. Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. Road Warrior. Mad Max Road Warrior. Well, and also Rizango, obviously, all time best tag team ever of all time. Oh, Corey and Team, yeah. Have we had an autograph yet in this box? Team Dream. I don't think so. Down to three packs. God, this stuff is so much space. I thought this was like the old NXT. <laughs> I didn't know. We're just not going to have autographs. Better be autographs than each of these two packs. Okay, there's one. Cassius Ono to 25. HBK Fuel. Oh no, 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 no. Natural disasters. Okay, we did get our two autographs after all. It's Otis! Here, I'll make him warm. Otis autograph. Team Porter. Your boy, Otis. He's funny. I like heavy machinery, they're funny. You know who I don't like is the OC. That's the worst tag team. God. <clears throat> Easy call for worst ever tag team. Anything with that guy, with those two other guys. I mean, I love Styles. I love AJ Styles, but the other two clowns, jeez, absolutely worst thing ever. Viking Raiders. Yeah. Come on, NXT. Wow us. Also, champ for rules. There's a blue Johnny Gargano. We defeated Ricochet, number to 50. There's something for you to do. There's something. <laughs> yeah, Cleveland or Washington. A purple? Oh no, that's just the card. Okay. Walter. He's a bad man. Angelo 
Profit Office. Street Profits are cool. That's a good current tag team. Oh, was it? Georgia just score? Are they kicking off the second half? Second half. Yeah. Ivar. Look at his autograph. It's like a rope, a ladder. <laughs> DHB. There's your Ivar. He's amazing for a big dude. Jumps all over the place. Oh, yeah. Marina Schaefer to 99. We saw them, didn't we? DHB. Yeah, we saw them. Uh, yeah, weren't they at... Uh, I think they wrestled... Didn't they wrestle at uh, Hell in a Cell? Maybe. Well, who was wrestling in that Reigns... You know, that like six-man Roman Reigns was part of it? Oh, was that man. them? Hell in a Cell is pretty boring. I don't really remember most of it. Just the red lighting. Yeah, he's making base sets. <laughs> How many cards are in the base set? 100? Oh, there's a gold to 25, Pete Dunn. And boys defeat Undisputed Era. Going to the Pete Dunn spot. Boy, those really look exactly yeah. the same as the rest of the cards. That's a tough one. They even put the numbering in the part of the card that is the same color as the yeah. number. I can't believe you saw that. Well, because it's this spot right here. Oh. I think. Just try to keep an eye on that spot. Harp's not watching this. There's exactly six people. A maximum of seven people watching this break. <laughs> The only way we could get people to watch a wrestling break would be like transcendent. Maybe they would watch. You know, we're not feeling transcendent though. Rod Strong won that three-man match thing, right? At uh, Survivor Series. I knew he would win. He's the best. Oh, oh God. I would die if Miller came and did a break. That's my dream, sir. You think I was giddy when I was playing with former Dodger great... Or a breaking with former Dodger grade, uh, what's his name? Kyle Farmer. Kyle Farmer. So great, I don't even remember his name. Forgotten Sons to 50.
She's too busy with Corey. Coming out and break with me anymore. She used to. Yeah. She's kind of grown out of it. Yeah. At this point, I'm sort of rooting for her to completely disappear from being at all popular so that I can buy her cards for nothing. Well, then they won't make cards for her anymore, I guess. Yeah, but you'd, maybe people might be dumping the old ones, you know? Oh, yeah. That's true. They should be now. returns from injury. Already 3.30. Autograph. Pete Dunn, NXT UK. The bruiser weight. Super noob. That's good. Yeah, there's only two full breaks left. I didn't post that other prism. What? Oh, okay. Black Diamond and Obsidian are still... There. They look close. There wasn't really a reason I didn't post another prism. I certainly would do one. Yeah, we were going to post a prism, and then I have a baseball mixer on deck. If people... <laughs> people wanted that. I don't know how long you want to... Oh, nice. Ultimate bro. Original bro. Matt Riddle. Bro. Mike Alt, Former UFC fighter. Matt Riddle. He was good, too. Not, like, great, but he was a good fighter. <laughs> yeah, initially awesome. I was thinking, like, oh, I'll just break as long as people want me to. And then after that first Triple E thing, I was like, uh, we might actually <laughs> not have that much time. Yeah. Because, like I said, sorting that's going to be a, a chore, too. And we still have to finish sorting the 10 caser. Yeah, we're up against it with sorting times. I'm trying to get everything out by Tuesday. But we do have two full, you know, there's two full days. Let's have a hot box. I also need to eat something. Else. Yeah. We should probably order something now, maybe. So it gets here right when you have to break again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, if I had been thinking, I would have ordered. I don't know what I want. Velveteen Dream to 25. Defeats Johnny Gargano to win, or to become NXT North American Champion. What up, Pete? Hmm, Boston Market. Oh, yeah, Jules and Ryan, did you open those... Uh Boxes from Yupa. Yupa sent him some boxes. Yeah, he found some holiday tops. Holiday. Oh, cool. There's a dream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're saving them for closer to Christmas. He's got a couple s socked away for me too when I go home. So I'll let you know how I do. Have any autos? He has a lot of energy. He can keep the intensity up for like three hours. It's amazing. Yeah, it's crazy. I he used to do MMA. 
back in the day, and I couldn't. It was too much for MMA. It was like way over the top, but it works oh, really? pretty well for wrestling. Yeah. He sometimes he's a little too much for me still, even in wrestling. Corey and I agree on that. Did you read about all that? No. Probably not. What happened, though? I'd love to hear. <laughs> I don't know if it was... It's directly the cause, but... Corey Graves post tweeted something about, like, oh, there's a Hall of Famer and a, something on the announce desk tonight for the NXT, but, like, you wouldn't know it. Like, you wouldn't notice or whatever, because, like, Marlon Ronaldo was just, like, talking over everybody the whole time, in his opinion. Oh. And then, like... So Corey Graves was with, was like on the team with. No, he was just tweeting from. Oh, somewhere. he was tweeting. Yeah, I see. He just tweeted something, basically saying that like Marlon Ronaldo just never stopped. You know, he came. Yeah, he get won't shut up. So the, whoever was the. And then um, Marlon Ronaldo like deleted his Twitter account. Matt Riddle defeats Roderick Strong. Well, that's a misprint. Nobody's ever defeated Roderick Strong. Weird. An error card. Lou. So Corey Graves used his probably much bigger social media following to bully the yeah. NXT announcer, and the NXT announcer like had to. He deleted his Twitter, and then he. Um, there's an Alistair Black gold to ten. Lays out Johnny Gargano with black mass. That's cool. And then he like missed the next NXT. He, like wasn't didn't announce the next NXT weekly thing or whatever. Yeah. He oh has, really? He has bipolar. Uh, oh. Disorder. And. Uh, Oh, Bianca Belair, Kiss Auto. Awesome. Jules! Wow. 5 of 25. That's a good one. Yeah, but he's back now. But I guess he was all... It really yeah, affected really bothered him. him. Oh, Tommaso Ciampa to 50. Oh, Jules again. Look out, everybody. Jules is going for the top rope. She's climbing it. No, don't go up there. <laughs> uh, Freaking Jules. one of those games if you're a Georgia fan like Doc where it's like never really got a chance to get your hopes up yeah I mean it's not over yet but you know it just doesn't feel like they, they just not gonna be able to beat them they've also had two guys taking off on stretchers in the yeah. last five minutes yeah that makes it better oh wait <clears throat> Jules is still on the top rope let's see if she can end this thing she's steadying herself but Mikey looks like he's <laughs> stirring from the mat Chelsea Green. <clears throat> First NXT card. Shark Sitch. An elbow from Shark Sitch. She's, Jules has stumbled off the ropes. And then Corey did like a sort of apology. Like he, because he hosts, um, like WWE after the yeah like the FS and he just said like oh if I fin I didn't mean I was just like whatever I didn't mean to like I don't know kind of weird yeah <laughs> seemed unnecessary <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I get that he is like the like the one that like likes all the heels, right? On the announce crew, is that his role? Corey. Yeah. Yeah, he's the heel announcer. Yeah, yeah. Like I understand that, but like he still seems like a jerk to me. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if he was like trying to be in character for that. Or 
maybe he was just genuinely annoyed at like yeah. to watch NXT and Heavy Machinery defeat the Forgotten Sons to fifty blue. Who was uh who was there that like who was the Hall of Famer? Do you know? Well there's there's two other people and it was uh, uh Someone will know. This is a cool picture. That's to 25. Johnny Gargano defeats EC3. Gargano. I can't remember if it's Gargano or Gargano. It's not there. It's people say Johnny. I thought it was Gargano. But Gargano. But I watch way less Thank wrestling than you do. Yeah, I really don't watch that much lately. I've, like, never seen NXT. Oh, man, it's awesome. You haven't yeah, watched one of the takeovers? No. Oh, I've man. never seen any of it. It's great. I believe that it's the best one. I, yeah, I buy that. really but. fun. That's about all I want to watch now, the takeovers. They're great. The Survivor Series, uh, or no, it's called, um, it was the weekend of Survivor Series, but it's called... Uh, it's called uh, Wayne Stock. Now, what is it? What's the one that they just did? They, where they have the two rings set up? I can't remember anything anymore. Ah! Battleground. No. Battlegrounds. Uh, death Grounds. War Games. That's it. What's happening here? Lacey Evans. NXT called up on him. Yeah, War Games. Team Porter. Like the crossword puzzle movie? Anyway, War Games, they have like two rings. And then like people are in cages, but they're in the cage together. There's like, what is it, teams of four or five? And Kyle O'Reilly looking to duke it out to 25. Mikey, Mikey, you're on the board. But you're about to get punched in the face by Kyle O'Reilly. Um, it was awesome because of the women's. Spoiler for if you didn't watch NXT War Games, I'm spoiling it. You know, they had like the good girls team and the bad girls team kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So then they like send, each of them sent the first person out to go into that double ring thing and then every few. I don't remember how long it is, five minutes or something. They open, the, the refs come over with a key to like unlock the yeah. cage. They're like chomping at the bit to get out. But what happened will blew my mind because I didn't really watch this lead up story into it, so I probably might have expected it. But in the good girl's cage, the guy goes and opens the thing, and the girl pretends she's going to come out and then turns around and just beats the crap out of her own teammate inside the cage. Oh, really? Wraps her legs around it and breaks it, mess, you know, destroys her knee. So then that team was down two girls. There's no way they're going to win five on three. No. Yeah. Uh -uh. So I thought it was over. I didn't even, I was like, why am I even watching this? Five on three, it's impossible. They can't possibly win. But it helps when it's five on three and... Uh, Rhea Ripley is on is one of the three because she's as good as ten women. Is that her name, Rhea Ripley? Something Ripley. It was good. Kyle O'Reilly's tattoo is in Latin, by the way, Jules. Yeah. It's Four Latin. Piece X something. It's Latin for glue guy. I'm gonna guess that it's uh, it translates to like power air guitar something. I think.
Yeah, Ray Ridley's. That's a Haas right there. If we put Rhea Ripley up to the Haas vote, it would be unanimous. Yeah. I don't even know her. You don't even know her, and you know she's a Haas. I don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> There's gold. Yeah, why are there no Rhea Ripley cards? I guess she came up kind of recently. Yeah, super new news. <laughs> She's awesome. Yeah, Royal Rumble's not that far away. Was it February? January? Holy crap, is the Royal Rumble in January? I think so. Yes! Oh, that's to 25. Tag Team Champions Undisputed Era defeat Danny Burch and Orny Larkin. Kyle O'Reilly spot. January 26. Where is it this year? That I won't be able to go to? Can't believe WrestleMania is on my 40th birthday. What a weird thing. Yeah. Nothing says midlife crisis like flying across the country <laughs> yeah. to go to WrestleMania. Ah, Velveteen Dream to 99. Mikey, Mikey. Oh, Houston. That's not that far. I'll probably hitchhike over there. Yeah. <laughs> Adam Cole. I'm waiting for everyone to say baby. I don't know if they did. I think they did it. Maybe Michael? this will be our hot box. Yeah, this, is this a hot box, Jules? I think that's only two, but we had been getting them in the last couple packs. That's true. So I'm wondering if they... Sounds fun. Blue Undisputed Era defeats the Authors of Pain. Who's on the left? Oh, that's Bob Fish over there on the left. Is that a spot, Bobby Fish? Yep, Mikey Mikey. Probably has all the Undisputed Era anyway. Yeah, and I can definitely tell which one is which, so I won't need help with that at all. <laughs> yeah. Why does that Adam Cole look like he has a caterpillar on his chest? Well, definitely not a hot box because we stopped getting all those. What an Io Shirai. God, upside down this. Oh, we did get another one. Bianca Belair. Jules is back. Jules just clotheslined to everyone else in the ring. They're dazed and she's strutting. That's Jules, uh. Yeah. On top of everybody else. Oh, it is a hot box because here's another one. Mia Yim. Team Porter. Oops. Yeah, this is. There's Jules right here, and this is Mikey in this break. That's Ryan Ryan calling to Jules off camera that <laughs> dinner's ready. Jules isn't even huh? making eye contact. <laughs> she's acting like she doesn't even notice that she's crushing Mikey underneath her knee. Like, oh, am I in the middle of a ring? Punishing somebody, or just out on a lounge chair on the beach, sipping them? My tie. And here's Ryan looking on, pretending not to care that he's not really gotten anything either. It's like, yeah, but we're partners, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> 
Yeah, that's perfect. Ryan's like, I don't know, I got a couple cards. So I'll let them fight each other. Is a Pete Dunn gold to 10? Super noob. Looks to exact revenge on Roderick Strong. Bad idea, Pete. Don't make that mistake. <laughs> Drew Lock. Big day for Drew Lock tomorrow. Gonna have another good game. Oh yeah. The weight of the 2019 football class is on your shoulders, Drew. No, that's not quite true. <laughs> this is Jules later after she's had a little too much wine and she's gloating to Ryan about how many hits she got in the NXT break earlier. With the wine, like... <laughs> First glass. Uh... It's like they made a card perfectly for that joke, Jules. What are the odds? All right, my makeup's done. I'm ready to go out now. <laughs> mm. Here's Super Noob after just like not even knowing what's going on with all this jewel stuff. Just being happy about his uh, Pete Dunn hits. I really only do wrestling just to do this is Jules' face and Ryan's face and somebody's face. That's mainly it. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't, never even watched wrestling. Oh, gold auto. Oh, Nikki Cross. Not gold, it's blue to 50. Importer. Black and Ricochet defeat Marcel Barthel and Fabian Aigner. So Alistair Black. Oh, all other parallels, I guess. There's not an Alistair Black spot. It's quite a lengthy break. 45 minutes into this thing already. Another blue. Alistair Black and Ricochet defeat. Is there a Ricochet spot? No. Yeah, there is. I guess that'll go to Ricochet if there's... Or no, Alistair Black on the left is other. Never mind, otherwise the other would never get anything. I don't know what we're doing. Don't ask me. If left side's another, then it would go to other, I guess. I don't know. Otherwise we just wouldn't have another spot. Almost all the cards have multiple wrestlers on them. Autograph. Oh, Rod... HBK fuel. Old Roderick Strong. Yeah, I'll start black with fun. Oh, yeah. When he's in a folding chair with a suit and tie. <laughs> G. 
janitor's closet. <laughs> All right. Last pack of the case. Last pack of the break. Uh, no more autos. Hit recap. Oh, yeah. Bianca Belair, Kiss Auto, Jules. Cassius Ono to 25, Kyle O'Reilly to 25, Tommaso Ciampa, Nikki Cross, Blues to 50, and then Perrazzo, Marina Schaefer, Matt Riddle, Velveteen Dream to 99, and then the base autos, Roger Strong, Ian Yim, Bianca Belair, Adam Cole, Lacey Evans, Chelsea Green, Pete Dunn. Ivar, Otis, and Buddy Murphy. Parallels. Alistair Black to 10. Pete Dunn to 10. Pete Dunn and others to 25. Elteen Dream to 25. The uh, Undisputed Era to 25. Johnny Gargano to 25. To 50, Alistair Black, Ricochet, and others. Alistair Black, Ricochet. Uh, NXT uh, Undisputed Era, Heavy Machinery, Matt Riddle, uh, Forgotten Sons, Johnny Gargano, Viking Raiders. Was it a good case? Yeah. It's not a base, though. It's the only thing. <laughs> 